Hi guys, welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, we'll be making a project that is the first button press. We will be doing the letter logic programming and as every one of you knows very well about this type of project, the first button press. This type of project is mostly used in uh, TV shows like where there are three groups and uh, they are asked a question to answer so any of the three groups who uh, presses the button first gets the opportunity to answer that question how to implement this type of project in uh, plc let's do that and let's start the programming so now open the ventilator software click new again select the type of plc you are using okay click ok so we will be using uh, the basic contacts like the normally open contact and the normally close and uh, re the set and reset points and uh, obviously the, the timer function. So let's start the programming. Press on the keyboard and write x0, 0, m1, 0, and m2. And we will be using the set quiet and write m0. So M0 will be used for the uh, group 1. So this is actually group number 1. Now M0 X1 and M2 press E on the keyboard for the set coil and write M1. So the M1 will be used for the the group two. And this is group two M0 M1 and X2. And this is for the group 3. Press E on the keyboard and write M2. Right now, let's use a timer functions M0. Now we will access this contact over here. That go look if M0 is set, then I get this one. M0 and click on the keyboard and write Y0. So this is the buzzer. This is the buzzer for the group one. So buzzer one. Now click here and press V on the keyboard for the vertical line. Click F on the keyboard. Write T for the timers. Click OK and we will be using the 50 timer and uh, we enter the 50. So 50 is equal to 5 seconds. 50 multiplied by 0.1 is equal to 5 seconds. Okay. And uh, now press R on the keyboard and uh, reset M0. And over here, write the not the close contact. Press B on the keyboard and write T50. So what does it mean actually when the uh, group 1 presses the switch, it will set the M0 coil. So this is basically a, a, a push button. So the M0 is set, when the M0 is set, the timer is activated, this buzzer turns on for the 5 seconds and when the, the timer is completed, when the 5 seconds are completed, then automatically reset the M0. So first let's check this one, simulation and run PLC and OK. So off the switch. Now let's for example, I now press this button, you can see this is set, the timer is active, off it, now you can see that it turns off, it turns off automatically, on, on and off. When the five seconds are completed, 
because it automatically turns on. So let's do the same for the remaining groups and simulation. Now go look for M1. Go on the keyboard and write Y1. And this is buzzer 2. Like V on the keyboard. Press F on the keyboard for function, timer, and we'll use the TP to one timer. Sorry, uh, uh, enter the reset value 50, 5 seconds, and uh, now reset and write M2. Same, normally close and T51. T51. Now go look for M2, the output Y2, and this is the buzzer 3. We on the keyboard press F for the function timer, and this time we use T52. The preset value is 50, which is 5 seconds, and a reset M2. Because we, we are using M0, M1, and M2. And this one is D52. Uh, and I'll press F and write end. So now let's check the program how it works. DLC run. Okay, now if I press this on and off, on and off. Actually, the, the preset time is uh, low. Let's increase this value so that we can easily check this one. So, this is uh, 5 seconds. Let's make it 15 seconds. 150 is equal to 15 seconds. 150. Let's now press one. 150. And then this one also 150. Now let's check this again so that we can clearly see x0, x1, and x2. Okay, now let's press this button. Three groups, and there are three groups. So if I press the switch and same time another group also presses the switch and the third one also presses the switch but as you can see I pressed all the three switches but first I pressed x0 so that's why that that timer is active it will remain active for 15 seconds so you can see that buzzer is now on this for example this time group 3 presses the uh, switch first so this is on and also Group 2 presses the switch and group 1 also presses the switch. But as you can see, that the, the, uh, the group 2 buzzer is active while the other were not serviced. So, if this time the group 2 presses the switch and group 3 also presses the switch and group 1 also, but so you can see only the group 2 is serviced. So this is how to implement the first button press programming we'll see. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching.